please make sure that you share your experience when it comes to dating is it difficult do you think you're struggling to find love because you have a child or very it's difficult these days to find love so those and ages welcome back to my channel to first time here i am katrisha please do not forget to join the katrisha family and be a doll of a ninja don't forget to subscribe comment please engage and share your opinions you can just tell me what you would like to see on the next video so please engage with me if you're a new subscriber welcome you'll definitely enjoy it here so today is the first video of chip October, chill October. So I decided to start my new thing of uh, uploading chit chat uh, as part of October. I don't think that I can vlog every day, so I'm going to try and upload every two days uh, the chit chat. So today I want us to have a chit chat about about. Let us talk about the mistakes that single women make, single women make when dating or in a relationship. I have just few tips because I am a single mom and there are few mistakes that I made, not all of them, so I wanted to share with you and to share with other women. So the first one it is trying so hard to prove your worth to your partner because the society has made us believe that if you have a child or if you have kids, let me say to you, you will no longer have value, which is not true people even try to put their achievements forward always in the relationship always talking about their achievements so the thing is if a man really loves you he will love you I don't even want to add more on that sentence but if a man really loves you he will love you so you don't have to prove your word you don't have to feel like you always have to prove a point okay because it's not like you'll be hiding your kids or so he'll come for you knowing uh, that you already have kids you know so you don't have to try so hard you know you don't have to do that because it might affect you this is so bad because even in let me say south africa because i live in south africa if you have a child when it comes to lobola negotiations they put a discount because you have a child i don't understand that it's very wrong why would you do that like I don't, that is something that i don't understand but it is tradition so what i do not understand that not because i'm already a mother but like for me it's like kind of an insult that's why i said if a man loves you he will love you he will mind like paying the full amount because you deserve it being a mother doesn't decrease any value Okay, it doesn't for me it doesn't that's my opinion the next one um i think some people most people might not agree with me but leaving your child because of a man i do not understand that like you're leaving your your child to go and stay with a man and leaving leaving your child with your parents that It's very understandable why you're doing it because you're going to school or you're going to work far away, but I don't understand it. And most women say, ah, uh, it is because uh, the child might get raped. Why would you want to spend the rest of your life with a man that is capable of raping your child? It doesn't make sense to me. It doesn't make sense. Like, I, I don't understand it. That is wrong. That is a mistake. Your child needs you because it. For me, I think it create traumas for the child. But you left him or her for another man, and you're going to start another family, and those kids will get your attention twenty four seven. It it will feel like you. That child will definitely feel rejected unless. They have a good relationship with your grandparents it happens some kids want to stay with their grandparents but yeah man i that one no the next one here is um setting for the bare minimum because most people say once you have a child 
you don't have a choice, you know. So uh, with me dating, I realized that because I'm a mother, people think that I can just, um, they think that I'm desperate. They think that they're doing me a favor. Uh, it's not like that. That's why I also say, if you're already a mother, your focus should be making money and improving your life. Because once you're desperate for love, yo, are you going to suffer? Shame, you're going to suffer. It sh love shouldn't be your first priority. Priority, because ugh, you're already a mother. You should focus on building a house with your kids. So men think that we are desperate. Yes, some they are desperate. They think we we can just tolerate anything just because we're already mothers. Everyone, like we don't have options don't lower your standards just because you really have a child well, that's why most women they find themselves in abusive relationships because of that oh and this thing of oh see i've already found a man that has accepted my child so i cannot leave him because it's very hard to find a man that will accept my child it's wrong if it's not meant to be it's not meant to be do not be desperate okay don't lower your standards uh you have values that's why i say you should work on improving yourself as a mother so that you will know what you want and you will choose the right guys don't be desperate please the other one is having your child or also most women who have more than two kids they do this they will lie and say they only have one <laughs> no like i i you should you know when a man is approaching you that is the that is the right time to tell him that you have more than two kids or we have two kids so that we don't waste time so you can avoid this thing of hiding a child in jail exactly i would say i only have kids so well, then let us not waste each other's time. Don't do not hide your child. Do not. You should be proud of your child. You should love your child. You should not be ashamed. The last one, I didn't want this video to be long. It is neglecting or spending more time. It's also similar to number two, spending more time all of a sudden because you have a new boyfriend. Uh, for example, if you were spending like three days with your child and bonding with your child three times a week and all of a sudden you only see your child once just because you're in a really new relationship that is very wrong you cannot spend more time with the man more than your child your child <sighs> that's what i also say people with kids is better for us to date with people that also have kids because it's also unfair to be with someone who will put a child over you so that's why when people are married when they don't have kids they say a husband should put his wife first uh before the kids we are about so but when you take someone who, who already has a child is a different story we definitely put our kids first i'm not talking about everyone but i'm talking about mothers well, so this is what i'm saying is you have value do not listen to the society and i know most people do this are adults like grown men they say you don't have value who will marry you if god wants to bless you with marriage he will regardless of you having a child or not and if a man really loves you he will love you so don't be desperate okay do you so thank you for watching this video make sure that you do add your point and let me know how you feel about this video and yeah man if you're a mom please make sure that you share your experience when it comes to dating is it difficult do you think you're struggling to find love because you have a child or really it's difficult these days to find love so let me know down in the comments please do comment thank you for watching this video i love you hope that you did subscribe Bye.